Hi guys. Well, for those of you that know, remember from Facebook, I got a new phone, the Nokia 1520, and I absolutely love it. And this is one of the reasons why is because the camera and the video is so awesome and it's so easy to use. Anyway, I thought today I would um, share with you um, a great sauce for a beef tenderloin or chuck roast or steak. I think this is perfect, you know, like when you make beef the first time and you take it out of the oven, it's so tender with the sauces and stuff. And the next day it's a little boring. So the way to sort of overcome that and make it a little more flavorful is to make up a sauce. So I'm doing a green peppercorn sauce. And this is actually the first time I've ever made a green peppercorn sauce. I wasn't even really sure what green peppercorn was, but um, you can actually find this in the same section that you would find like the pickles. Um, it's in brine. So um, basically the ingredients are very simple. There are, um, I put some stock in there and probably about two tablespoons. And then I put a little bit of butter, uh, one fourth a cup of brandy, a little bit of water, about one fourth a cup, about one third cup of some red wine, and then about two tablespoons of those green peppercorn and then a little more butter, one third a cup of heavy cream, and one tablespoon of um, sherry. Uh, a couple things when you make um, stuff like this and you don't have the exact ingredients, don't think you have to go out and buy every ingredient in the world, because some people are like, I don't like cooking sometimes because there's so many exotic ingredients on there and it gets expensive. I substitute a lot or just use what I have for actually this recipe called for sherry, but I just choose white Zinfandel. Now I'm sure the true chefs of the world would never do that, but you know, when you're a single girl on a budget, there's nothing wrong with substituting what you have. So sometimes I'll just Google that and do that as well. And then, um, I'm trying heavy cream. Um, as you guys know, I try to eat dairy free most of the time, but from what I've read, those that are dairy intolerant can sometimes handle heavy cream a little bit better because it's mostly fat, so you don't get all the milk opioids in there. So I'm going to try it. I've tried using the coconut milk, and it's just always too thin. So anyway, I did a chuck um, roast earlier today. I cooked it just in some beef stock, some garlic, rosemary, salt and pepper. And I also roasted some root vegetables, um, some parsnips, some Japanese sweet potatoes, for you guys that love sweet potatoes, I'm going to try some different ones. Um, there's like two or three different varieties that you can get at Whole Foods, and I just like to stir things up and shake things up a bit. So I get the Japanese um, sweet potatoes, which are white, and I've got some carrots and some parsnips on there too. So anyway, I've just let the sauce reduce um, after I added the heavy cream, and now I'm just going to pour this on my steak just to give it a little more flavor. Um, there's also some shallots in there too that I sauteed in butter before I added all the ingredients. And see, I'll have enough left over to um, eat this another day, two or three days. Just heat up the sauce, and that way I don't have to heat up the beef and dry it out. Okay, so I'll probably throw a little pepper and salt and it's ready to go. And I'll let you know how it turns out. 